Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to the shop. It's been a little bit since we streamed Car Mechanic Simulator, but we're back here to do a little bit more auto work. Uh, I did upload a couple of videos while I was having some uh, internet streaming issues. And the last one, we started working on this uh, this uh, DC Typhoon, which I guess is the Shelby Cobra, uh, just generically made. So we've got this in progress, but tonight what I want to work on is one of the mod cars that we grabbed from uh, the Steam Workshop the other day. We're going to be working on the DeLorean, and it's the actual, like, Back to the Future model. So it's not even just, like, a DeLorean, but they've, like, mocked it up as the car from Back to the Future. Uh, but welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a big thanks to everyone who's clicked on the Join button to become a channel member. I do appreciate the support. And a special thanks to all of our top-tier Mistakes Were Made members that were highlighted right at the start of the stream. Uh, we're going to hit up the junkyard first to see if we can find any pieces for the DC Typhoon. Uh, but this is the car I'll be working on tonight over here. This is the DeLorean. Uh, we found this in a barn, so it's actually in uh, reasonably good condition, all things considered. If it had been a junkyard find, I think there would be a lot more of the pieces and stuff missing. But uh, it's got everything from like the Mr. Fusion thing on the back for generating the uh, the power that we need so we don't have to borrow any of that uh, fancy radioactive material from, uh, let's just say, not-so-friendly types. And even when you're inside, you can see, like, all the controls and stuff. It's got, like, the date set for October 26, 1985. October 21st, 2015. I guess so those, maybe those are, like, the times from the different movies or something? 1955. Cool, though. It's a pretty sweet-looking car. Looking forward to getting this one uh, all built out. Now, this is probably one we're not going to sell. I'll check out the value of it when we're all done just to see what it would sell for. But I'll probably just keep this one in the shop. Uh, this one we purchased for 37073 so we've already taken a hit of $7,400 in terms of the value, but not super worried about it, because, like I said, we're probably just going to keep it anyway. We'll stick it in the in the shed. <laughs> you need a Nightbot command flux with the message should be 1.21 gigawatts. 1.21 gigawatts! Great Scott! Yeah, so that should be fun. Uh, but like I said, first I think we, we're gonna want to go to the junkyard and see what we can find for the DC Typhoon here. I, I do have a couple of pieces in uh, a couple of pieces in the the uh, the warehouse stored away. But um, there's a lot that we need to complete this, and this is gonna be my project car over the next little while, where we'll periodically uh, check out stuff in the uh, the junkyard and the barns and see what we can find. Try one second. I'm just gonna tweak my audio setting here on the stream. I wish I could do this without minimizing the game, but what are you gonna do? So we've got uh, the block for a V8, uh, V8 overhead valve. Uh, I have the pistons and stuff in it. We don't have like anything else. I'm missing like rod caps and bearings and well, most of the engine. <laughs> we, we, really, we have a block. That's pretty much it. Oh, uh, I did realize that um, the flywheel here we, that we can put on the back uh, is not something that we can repair. Um, so we could do that. I'm gonna go in here and grab ourselves a flywheel. Oh, actually, uh. Yeah, I'm not going to use performance parts for this car because uh, we won't be able to find performance parts in the uh, the junkyard and stuff. It's not... The lift isn't up. <laughs> I got to move it up to put that in. As it turns out. Hey, Ashley, how you doing? Hey, Chris. Uh, good to see you, Cryptic Fox. Should be playing the Back to the Future theme music. Uh, if only I could, but there's this whole thing called copyright that would just kick me right in the pants. <laughs> so, unfortunately, not something we can do. Um, actually, I have some parts over here. What do we got in storage? I don't I don't remember what I put in storage for uh, for future use. Ooh, I have a clutch plate. Uh, we can grab that. I have the timing cover, but of course we need uh, all the gears and chains and stuff. Actually, I can buy all that because I can't replace those. The rear drive axle and things. Stuff to do, stuff to do. I expect this is going to take us a while to get uh, the kind of progress on it that I want. Oh, that's why I don't have the drive axle. I don't have the, uh, I don't have the, uh, the knuckle housing here, so we got to get one of those. Uh, we can put our clutch plate in. That was something I probably fixed off of the other one. The clutch, pre uh, clutch pressure plate we don't have. I can't remember for the life of me if the pressure plate is repairable. One point twenty-one gigawatts. <laughs> That's going to be coming up a lot, I think. Glad it's been the weekend, you. Uh, I would say the same, except I actually took this whole week off, and I have next week off also, so uh, I don't normally take very much time off, and uh, having two weeks off is, like, super weird for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm off for uh, off for a little bit now. 
Uh, let's get the uh, get to the front here. We can do some of this. Ti oh, right. That's why I don't have a uh, I don't have a camshaft in here just yet. All right. So climbing cover's got to wait. That's why I had it in storage. So we need uh, we need a lot of stuff. Just a lot of stuff. Anything else in there? I need. Look at a caliper. Ooh, one caliper. Go us. Oh, I didn't put that on because I don't have a cylinder to go with the, cali uh, the caliper. It's gonna be a lot of scavenging. What color am I gonna paint this car? With this one here, the uh, the Shelby Cobra. I don't really know. Um, it's got like a, it's got like a livery on it right now. In white, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, so we're gonna go look and see if we can find things like uh, the uh, the engine heads, engine head covers. We need camshaft, oil pan, rod caps, crankshaft bearings, all the good stuff. We need a lot of junk for this car. A lot of junk. Uh, we also need uh, in here. What am I missing? Bottom suspension arm, A. Upper suspension arms. Steering rack. There's like so much missing on this car. So much. It's going to take us a while. It's good. It's really easy to just buy all the stuff and go, but, uh, like, looking around and trying to find the pieces does make it a little bit more interesting, I think. That's the Speed Racer car. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to tell Fox the opposite. What now? Later, Maple. Cat's very vocal tonight. Thought the fuel pump wasn't repairable and bought one, so the rebuild already doesn't count. Um, shoot. <laughs> I think maybe the starter as well. So, so the, I mean, we could always just grab a, like, rip out the fuel pump and put a different one in. Oh, look, there's already parts for the DeLorean in here. Um, we have DMZ-13, though, I think, back at the shop, not DMZ-12. So that, um, that part wouldn't do us any good, but, uh, there is some stuff here. Um, <laughs> there's gonna be lots of DeLorean parts. There's multiple different variants that the, the, the um, the guy that created the, the mod put in the game. So many DeLorean parts. Um, Camshaft gap's no good. Fuel rail. Now oh, what's this? Yeah, let's make our fastback. We already rebuilt one of those though. Gearbox for V6. That's not going to help us. Oh, good. The cat's vomiting. Great. <laughs> That's entertainment right there. Who wants a cat cam? <laughs> How's the kitten doing? I mean, ordinarily, I would say good. Um, she apparently ate something that disagreed with her. I think she got a hold of an onion skin upstairs and ate it. Because she's a cat and they do weird things, but I don't think it agreed with her. Find the car in Christine and rebuild her and what, have it run me over? Wouldn't that be great? Uh... I really should. I'm gonna have to make a list. Um, make like a list on paper or something that I can keep handy, so that when I go to the junkyard, I, I have something I can reference for what I'm looking for. The uh, the shopping list, unfortunately, doesn't work in the junkyard, so you can't just like put things on your shopping list and then come here looking for them. Kind of sucks a little bit. on Starline. There's some cars here that would be good for flipping for cash. Not the DeLorean was a V6. I'm not looking for, for DeLorean parts stuff right now. I'm just looking for stuff for the Shelby. The DeLorean, we'll just buy the parts. We'll, like, rebuild it. Fix everything we can fix. Buy it, whatever we can't fix. And then uh, go from there. Bolt Supernova... Carburetor A, V8 overhead valve, B. I don't know what it needs, so I'm gonna grab that anyway. We'll stick it in the uh, storage in case it does come in handy. There's a fuel pump we can't fix. <laughs> Got off the catalytic converters. <laughs> cool spring rear, uh, rear drive axle. No, I already have the rear axle for this thing. Nope, nope, nope. It's gonna be a lot of fruit, fruitless trips to the junkyard, I think, trying to find the parts for this thing for the most part. Uh, 
there. Hey, Stephen, how you doing? Engine ahead for an inline three, front drive shaft, nope. Nope, nope. <laughs> Any guesses on how many times that uh, 1.21 gigawatts command is going to be used tonight? Oh. Engine head cover A, V8 overhead valve D. I know the engine is a V8 overhead valve, but I don't know which, which version it is. So I don't know whether this is going to have any use for me at all. Hmm. Wish I could see all the parts that are going to be required for this thing before I actually get to the point of needing them. <laughs> Ooh, air filter cover. Let's grab that. That might come in handy. Um. Nope. All the same pile. Question is, will that car get over 88 miles per hour? Oh yeah, it'll get so fast. I'm sure by the time we put performance parts and stuff in it, we should hit uh, a couple hundred miles an hour easy. It's gonna go so fast. Doc's gonna say, great Scott! Yeah, after I'm done, it'll go faster. Yeah. <laughs> it probably goes pretty fast. Well, I mean, if it ran, it would probably go pretty fast right now, but... Oil pan, V8 overhead valve. Yes, I need that. Alright, that's one definite piece I needed. How's that not a junk pile I can loot? That's weird. Oh, there we go. That was weird. I had to, like, click in a specific spot for it. Oh, look, roof trunk. Should have taken a screenshot of your parts list to know what you needed. Well, that, that's just it, though. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't really like click off the game to click on things, so it becomes kind of a pain to have something that's on the computer that way. But even still, it's hard to see what parts I need, given um, until you get to the point of actually needing a particular piece, like, it, like you can't add it to your shopping list. Unless you know what it is. <laughs> so it, it's kind of a weird catch-22 for me. Because I don't know what parts I need until I encounter them. It's like, okay, well, the next part is this and that. And then there's parts beyond that that it won't show until you've got those pieces in place. It's the trouble of not being an auto mechanic, I guess. Exhaust manifold, we'll take that. Prop guys love the idea of 88 miles per hour because they gave them a reason to make all the lights on the dashboard turn on. <laughs> Let's uh, in here. Man, I haven't even found the uh, I haven't even found the barn map here yet. Where's it hiding? I don't know what front exhaust section I'm going to need for this thing. I wonder if it's... Oh, I can't repair that anyway. That doesn't matter. No, it was not really a fast car. It was more like, let's build something that doesn't rust and looks like a fast car. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was more like just like them wanting to build something neat, I think. Still build brand new DeLoreans uh, in the USA from all the inventory on the other back. Really? Still building ones, huh? That's weird. I'm not certain I need that wheel hub. Oh, bottom suspension arm A, I needed that. Nice. Got a couple pieces we need. DC Typhoon hood. I don't know if I had a hood or not. That might have been a good find there. I 
shall be six. No, thank you. Nope. There. The hell's a gigawatt? <laughs> it's a watt that knows how to boogie. P8 overhead valve D engine head. I mean, I don't think it's going to be this variant, but I'm going to grab it anyway, just in case. Because I'm curious to see. I think it's just a V8 overhead valve head that I need. <laughs> Tail lights. We already put those in, though. All right, we're almost done. There's only like a couple of trash piles left here, and I still haven't found the map yet for the barn, which is weird. Thought we would have stumbled into that already. Someone bought everything that DeLorean made, even his plans for many cars, uh, the DeLorean Motor Company. The goal is to make a limited release of 300 DMC-12 per year. Oh, really? That's novel. That's just like a passion project at that point. There's not, uh, nothing really, uh, much gonna come out of that aside from somebody having fun. That's pretty cool, though. Keep the dream alive, man. Man, you know, the, uh, I think the rod caps are going to be some of the most difficult things to find. There's the map. It's the map. He's the map. I'm the map. All right. So we got a couple things. Uh, a couple of these I know for certain I need. Other ones I'm not really sure about, but 266 credits worth anyway. We'll buy those and get out of here. <laughs> Not much will come of it other than some people having fun. Cryptic Fox channel slogan. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> Rod caps are cheap enough. Just buy them. It uh, it wasn't really about like whether I could afford to buy them or not. I mean, I have three hundred seventy eight thousand credits. I'm, it's not the money. It's really more about trying to find find all the parts and restore as much of it as we could just from scrap as opposed to uh, as opposed to buying things. Any tips to get leveled up quickly? Just subbed as well. Uh, yeah, the number one tip is to inspect everything. So when you uh, when you're doing customer jobs, uh, let's get in here. I'll show you. Um, so when you're doing customer jobs, if you go into your additional tools, these are things you can unlock. Uh, so you've got your OBD scanner, your compression tester, your electric mul electronic multimeter, your tire threader, fuel pressure test. Each part that it checks with these tests will give you one experience point. So that's totally worth doing. Uh, and then the other thing you can do is uh, if you right click and choose the examination mode, then with this, you can examine all the different parts of the vehicle and you get one experience point for each part examined as well. And then when you go ahead and do your work, you'll get one experience point for each part you take off the vehicle and one, and one point for each part you put back on the vehicle. So by the time you've done, the, you've done uh, some customer jobs and, and inspected each vehicle you've done the customer job on, you can level up pretty quick. Uh, let's go repair some stuff here. I wish they gave you experience points for repairing things, but sadly that's not a thing. That'd be funny if I found it and then accidentally broke it when I was going to repair it. it seems like something I would do. I broke the carburetor. I don't think I needed it anymore. Fairly certain it was the wrong one. Same thing with this. Pretty sure that's the wrong engine head, but I just thought I would check. Tried to inspect parts for experience, but all you got was a restraining order. Aha! <laughs> We're checking the wrong parts. Yeah. So, that was definitely not the right engine head, so that's fine. Uh... Put that on. We can put the uh, the lower arm on here. We need some bushings, but so I am buying parts that we can't uh, we can't repair, of course. So bushings are one of those things we'll be buying. Do I have any on me? Do not. Need 
two of these things. Uh, sway bar I cannot fix, so we'll buy that. Same thing with the, the front end links, we can't buy those either, or uh, fix those either. Uh, I think I already bought the one for the other side. Yeah, that's on there. Uh, knuckle cover, I haven't found one yet, so we'll have to wait on that. Shocks I could probably do too. Actually, I did one side already. Um, so let's do it. We'll do the shock on this side. Just none of these parts are fixable. Uh, we'll go back and take that fuel fuel pump out because apparently that is fixable and I put one in there that we bought. That's got to come out until we fix one. Am I putting a custom gearbox in this car? I'm not going to bother just because we're trying to do a scrap rebuild where um, the only parts that I'm using are things that we've, uh, we've salvaged except for those parts that I just can't fix. So we'll have to go ahead and use a normal gearbox. I'll probably do a, a, the Shelby Cobra another time and just do like a full a full build of it where we like put all the performance parts and stuff in it. Uh, but for this particular one, we're just doing like a, like a little project car as I do other work. Uh, a steering rack's fixable. I can't do that. Uh, clutch pressure plate again. I cannot remember whether we can fix that or not. That's what I got on me right now. No, let's use this thing. So this engine head is no good. That's kind of get. It can go away. Uh, the carburetor I broke. I probably should scrap it. Do I have a? Is that a rear wheel hub I grabbed? It is a rear wheel hub. Which I don't need. <laughs> All right. I guess that can go too. Oil pan and filter cover I'll put away. Um, we can use those later. And then we got the hood we can stick on here too, of course. Oh my god, what a color difference. <laughs> Oops. What's fun about the salvage builds? Is it just bragging rights? No, it's just something to like change up the, the game a little bit. Does it accomplish anything? No, absolutely not. Just for kicks. All right, I'm gonna pop over quickly. Dude. We'll hit up one barn and see what we find, and then uh, we'll start working on the DeLorean. Uh, barn. Gosh, that yeah. I don't know who painted their color that color or their car that color, but. Open Gate will begin on Saturday, September 9th at 7 p.m. and continue until September 12th. Interested players will be able to act. What's this game? What's this now? I'm okay. Open B after request access, no pre buys. I'm, uh, I'm confused about what you're referencing. Sorry, is that for. Uh... I've heard there's going to be more open days, open beta for New World. Oh, cool. Neat. So if I have to request it, I should probably do that because I definitely haven't. <laughs> Watch all the ammo will be in the barn. Probably, if there is, I'm gonna grab it just to flip it and make more money. They're good money, those things. Uh, okay. Definitely no Lambo so far. Gross cars. Front suspension member. Camshaft V8. I think I need that. Radiator C, I think I need too. Cover. Nope. Rob cap. Yes, <laughs> that's our first one. <laughs> Only seven more to go. <laughs> Does Delorean have the hover wheels or just regular wheels? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming just regular wheels. Currently sitting on wheels right now, but uh, I, I don't think there's any any option to make them look like they're flying. It'd be kind of funny if it did. Oh, crankshaft bearing. Need that too. <laughs> I 
<laughs> hey, look, another DeLorean. So this is the gold DeLorean. Uh, this one is not done up like the time machine. Just happens to be gold in color. Um, there's also another one that's like a carbon fiber looking one. And then like three different variants of the, the time machine DeLorean that, that's all part of that same mod pack. Damn chef Barry, nope. I think I need a suspension arm. I got leaf springs on the back, so I gotta look for U-bolts too. Can I check this already? I'm there. We're already done with the scrap piles in here. Fairly certain that's it. A bit of a small barn in this one. But that can't be it. I didn't find the uh I didn't find the loot box. There's always a loot box in these things, isn't there? Is there a pile here that I missed searching? Would love to have found the gold DeLorean. I mean, we have it. I could, I could probably buy it and we'll, I can flip it too. This one I'm more likely to sell though. 86,000. All right, when, I mean, when it says uh, estimated car value. When I bring it home, I'm going to lose $25,000 or 25,000 credits worth of value <laughs> just by bringing it back to my shop. <laughs> uh, stock DeLorean? There's probably a stock DeLorean too, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I just can't remember all the variants that are in the game right now for that mod. Gold parts are super expensive. <laughs> I guess. Is this supposed to be made of actual gold or something? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Whatever. Bot. Uh, I'm gonna send that to car parking though. I'm running out of room. I'll pull it out another time and we'll work on it. Where the heck is the, uh... Is the loot box? There it is. Found it. Apparently I missed searching this pile over here. That's it for that. I think, uh, did I search these? All right, sweet. Got a couple pieces I need. Turn to the garage. Another 283 credits worth. Greetings from the UK. The joy of finishing my online Dungeons and Dragons game at early, at nearly three means I can catch your live streams. Really enjoy the content. Keep up the good work. Well, thanks, Paul. Glad you enjoy them. And I hope your, uh, hope your campaign's going well. I'm new. What's your channel about? Just a nice fellow exploring the internet. Hey, Andrew. Uh, I play video games. All kinds of them. <laughs> um, I don't know. I uh, I play a lot of games. Uh, it's not really an about thing there so much. I, I tend to enjoy playing a variety of different things, so I don't stick with just one game. Uh, right now, we've been playing a lot of Car Mechanic Simulator because I enjoy it, and it just uh, recently came out with the 2021 version. But I also play survival games, uh, some uh, some horror games, resource management, colony style games, that kind of stuff. I don't know, variety of things. Whatever strikes my fancy, really. Just don't come here looking for the best possible uh, way to beat any given game. <laughs> I guess you, you probably won't find it. It's more about the fun for me. Okay, so we got one rock cap and one bearing. Uh, what else did I grab there? Ooh, the camshaft and the radiator. Um... I could we'll lower the car again. I do like simulator games. There's a few of them that I've tried out. Hey, bro, like for the Philippines. Hello, the Philippines. Always so many cool places people are from when they come to hang out on stream. I can't even see the. Ah, it's the wrong camshaft I got. Darn it. I did get the right radiator, though. So that's something. Small victories. Small victories. A little bit at a time. Let's see what we got in here. Bonus scrap and bonus XP. Nice. Oh, this is another way to get good XP. Whoever was asking about XP before, if you can find it in these loot boxes, you get a lot more than you do actually doing car jobs. Ever heard of Smoking the Bandit, Dukes of Hazard, Knight Rider? I love those old. Of course I have. 
He's pounding down, loading up and trunking. We gotta do what they say can't be done. Man, I grew up watching Smokey and the Bandit and stuff. So good. All right, uh, so that's that car's on hold now. Let's, uh, we've done what we can for that tonight. Let's go ahead and start working on our super fancy time machine car over here. Good old DeLorean. Uh, first thing first, this thing seriously needs a wash. What year is the car that I was working? So that's, um, that was the Shelby Cobra. What was it, a uh, 56? 65? I can't remember. <laughs> I'll have to go back and look. Hey, Tyler. How you doing in Wisconsin today? It's a hot day, really from the UK, but now I live in the Philippines. Oh, cool. I've heard the Philippines are very hot. This actually doesn't look so bad when we clean it up. The, the barn finds are really good that way. The bodies of the, of the vehicles are so often in good shape. But I also don't know what they did in terms of the rust mapping for the body of the car. Is it stainless steel? I mean, there literally wouldn't be a lot of rust there. <laughs> uh, but let's get it back inside. We'll uh, start ripping it apart. It, this is the the first mod car that we've done um, in 2021. The 2021 version of the game. So it'll be interesting to see how things come apart too, because um, with the mod pieces, they basically they have to fit it into one of the defined car, uh, like car component definitions in the game so like this here this says trunk but it's like the uh the little uh, mr fusion machine so good times with that just make sure my inventory is empty car part one <laughs> that one's super specific oh already into the engine there all right body Left door, right door, right rear fender is this whole side piece here, but... Oh, this one was missing. That's why it uh, just said body. Okay. And our front fender. This thing's got a frunk. Uh, I want to know something amazing. I'm 13 years old and I never saw those old movies, but then again, I'm so into it. Oh. So good. Classics. Suspension, body, fenders. All right. Uh, let's get the uh, the seats and stuff out of here. Same as usual. We're gonna strip this thing right down to the frame, and then we'll uh, build it all back up again. Any parts that we can't repair, we'll just go ahead and buy. Make it all fancy and new again. Say, I never saw those movies when they came out. Yeah, I, I assumed. <laughs> uh, I was already, uh, I, I was, I didn't see um, Smokey the Bandit when it came out either. I, it was, by the time I saw it, it was already, uh, it already been out for a while. I used to watch Knight Rider on TV when I was a kid, and etc. Back to the Future was like a huge part of my childhood. Trouble being old. <laughs> you do the whole live stream thing, you're liking it. Well, welcome, JT Villa. Yeah, this is one of those chill games, too, where I can. I, I tend to catch a little bit more of what goes on in the chat. Sometimes, if I'm playing a game where I have to really focus, I don't. Uh, I, I miss a lot more of what happens in the chat. Car Mechanic Simulator is pretty chill, though. You can just, like, relax, gradually rip a car to pieces. And make a whole bunch of mistakes putting it back together. Around five years when Smoking the Bandit came out. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't even remember what year Smoking the Bandit came out. To be honest, I just remember being a kid and watching it. I think we had it on VHS or something. Way back in the long, long ago. Masses need more horror jump scares. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube do not notify me of your stream. I, I scheduled it pretty late though. I, I only got the, the the stream up. I want to say around 9 p.m. tonight. It was a little late getting it all scheduled. What said the Delarian plates are just in time. They're actually out of out of time. Yeah, it's out of time. 
Um, whoever created the mod, I, I don't know if they just put it on to have like random plates or if they actually defined what the plate would say currently, but it came out in 77. Yeah, so I would have been like one. <laughs> so I definitely did not see it in the theaters. But there's like all kinds of those like older movies that I, I binge watched when I was a kid. I must have watched Smoking the Bandit like 10 times. Seventy-seven for smoking the man. Oh yeah. It's been a while since you watched BTTF. What's BTTF? Found a gold DeLorean in a junkyard, rebuilding it earlier. Oh nice. I got. I just got one in the barn actually. We um we were looking for uh, uh barn find pieces for the Shelby Cobra that we're working on. We came across the gold DeLorean, so I grabbed it. It was expensive. It was like eighty-three grand or something. <laughs> Give more BJ and the bear, yeah. Oh, oh, back to the future, yeah, yeah. all right, that would make sense. <laughs> I, I are brains. I remember like when I was, when I was a kid, when uh, when my friends and I we all saw Back to the Future, and then. We all fantasize about what it would be like to be like amazing skateboard riders and stuff. <laughs> like hanging on the cars and stuff while they're riding around. I was never good on a skateboard. <laughs> Telltale Back to the Future game is fun fan service, but never very linear. I never tried it. You know, I, I in terms of the Telltale games, I played um I played part of The Walking Dead and I never finished it. And that was it. I know Wolf Among Us. Uh, is it called Wolf Among Us? Something like that. Shoot, I can't remember the name of it now. Anyway, it was their uh, their werewolf one that was uh, apparently like the better game that they made. Hey, PC gamer, how you doing? Shoot, what was the name of that game? My, my brain won't work. Was it Wolf Among Us? Not Altered Beast, it was something else. It was a Telltale Story game. You have the collector's edition of Back of the Future? Nice. I got rid of like all my DVDs and all that stuff. I just do everything digitally now, but... It was Wolf Among Us? Okay. I, I thought I was misremembering the name for some reason. I saw the street wish they were in the land of Dixie. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> Pretty happy where I am. If three copies of Jurassic Park on VHS you bought from a garage sale, still in the wrapper. Nice. Just keep it as like a collectible kind of thing. Never know. One day it might be worth something, I guess. Depending on whether people are looking for it. As soon as I said it, I just had this like momentary thought of like, oh wait, is that even the right name? <laughs> hey, still snow? How you doing? Alter Beast and Golden Axe were actually good games. Yeah, I mean, they made some good games. I think they just, um, I don't know, they went too far into that particular storytelling kind of series of games that they had. They over they over indexed on those because like a couple of them are interesting, but then you start getting more of them. It's like eh, been there, done that. Novelty sort of wore off. Myro with the super chat. I'm here. You can start now. Oh good, Myro. We didn't start yet. We were waiting. The kind of gentleman I am. <laughs> the Twelve saw DVDs. I love how the uh, I love how Saw has a director's cut. movie about dismantling people has a director's cut. It's great. I <laughs> can't even see up there. Zoom too far away.
You ever, uh, ever heard of a core event? Of course I have. Grew up in the 80s. They were uh, kind of synonymous with stuff. <laughs> Am I using the lean function? Oh, Myro. <laughs> no, wait. I can't jump in this game, so we can't just jump into the engine compartment. For those of you who didn't see it, I played this game called My Garage. Uh, and it's a work of progress, but I neglected to notice that there was a lean key. And so, oh, I guess I should do that. Um, so I was trying to like change spark plugs in this customer car, and I couldn't reach them. So I like I jumped on the trunk of the car, went over the roof to the hood, and climbed in the engine compartment to get at them. <laughs> and it, it works, just not well. There was like no oil in that thing. I wish I knew how to mod, I would turn this game into a horror game by adding Christine. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing with the modding is that um, I think you're 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 a little bit constrained in terms of what you can do. So as I understand it, like you can get all the different the different car models and that kind of stuff, and you can get them to look a certain way, but each of the body parts still has to align with an actual car component in the game. Um so it you know, like you Although that's pretty cool, they do have that animated, which is neat. Um, so I don't, I'm not sure to what degree you could make it act like Christine. It might like look like the car, but I don't know if you'd be able to get it to do much. Wait a minute, you can fix tail lights? Is that just because it's a mod? Because you can't do that with normal cars. I still don't think you can. I'm gonna wind up fixing the whole exterior of the car, and I wonder if oh, there's gonna be like one piece I have to buy because it's missing that one fender piece. Still getting XP on the mod cars? Uh, I, you know, I didn't even notice. I think so. Pretty sure you do. <laughs> yeah, like I'm fixing headlights and everything. We got we got the magic in me now. This be the power of love. I think only modded taillights can be fixed. Yeah, because normally you can't fix glass in the game at all. Now, it didn't let me fix the windshield and stuff. But it did, make, it did let me fix taillights and headlights, which is kind of weird. You want to replica the General Lee? Nice. <laughs> I'm Duke boys, we're in a heat patrol. You can fix older tail lights, new LED lights for newer cars. If you get in the bio, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's different. In theory, with those LED lights, you shouldn't really have to fix them unless something unusual happens. Time to go back, back to the future. Breakfast table. <laughs> breakfast table. What's for breakfast today? Still snow? Probably shouldn't ask when we get hungry. IRL taillights and headlights could be more or less fixed. Um, well, I mean, you can change the bulb out, but if the glass is broken, it's actually kind of screwed. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta buy a replacement. Or for the taillights, the plastic. Toast and miso soup. So miso hungry. Thinking about what to make for lunch. It's so funny that it's so funny that talking with people on the other side of the world, where it's like the middle of the night here for me. <laughs> and you're planning lunch. Just fire up the furnace and remelt them. Oh yeah, I have one of those in my backyard. In my, my backyard, just remelt the lights all the time. Yeah, we can fix the starter too. I, for some reason, I, I thought the starter couldn't be fixed, and clearly I'm wrong. 
Because we just fixed one. Maybe it's just that every time I've, I've gotten a starter in the game, it's always been toast. Or just missing altogether when I grabbed the car. Maybe that's why I was thinking it wasn't repairable, because I just haven't been fixing it. Ah, oh, I broke a clip. Stupid clips. Oh, I haven't taken the engine apart yet, too. We still gotta do that. Alright. Uh, we can build some brakes here. Let's get the engine on here. We can start ripping it all to pieces. It's quite a monstrosity. That was a vintage clip, 4K on eBay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll never get it done. These are broke buying clips. This thing is really thoroughly rusted. I'm gonna keep popping off because I want to get the uh, brakes laid here. Oh my god, so many pieces. Slime of some natto is not appealing. I have no idea what natto even is. Got your bug, by the way, Fox. Thanks. From you know, I missed it. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the mug. Thanks for uh, thanks for the support. Appreciate that. I have one of them upstairs. Actually, uh, when I started doing a few of the merch things, I, I just went and, like bought samples of everything, so I had one around. And I knew what they would be like. Now it's fermented beans. Oh, yeah, that does sound gross. I mean, if you're not fermenting something for the purposes of drinking it, it just doesn't seem right to me. Although I'm okay with coleslaw, and I guess that's fermented cabbage. Or is that pickled cabbage? More pickled than fermented? Yeah, we're gonna be putting performance parts on, but I'm just uh, I'm just stripping everything down right now. Uh, we'll buy as many of the performance parts as we can get. We gotta make sure we can uh, get more than 88 miles per hour out of this thing. Developers well, should give the console owners of this game the upcoming DLCs for free since PC owners get daily new content, which is so unfair. But we're not getting daily new content, I don't understand. Do you mean in terms of like people um, adding mods to the game? I think what would be cooler is if they just made it so that you could have mods on each console. Maybe it's just a limitation thing, I don't know. But they're, de they're definitely not going to give it all for free, because... <laughs> they're, they're here to make money. <laughs> we started homebrewing cider and mead recently. Oh, yeah. Worcester sauce is fermented fish. Is it, yeah, it's made from anchovies, right? I don't think the developer has powers for that over consoles in the first place. Well, I don't. It it depends. It depends whether they licensed out. So Red Dot is the is the developer of the game. Playway is the publisher. Um, but I I guess it sort of depends on whether they licensed out the console version of the game or whether they developed it in house. But even still, like, they just aren't going to do that. Because with this game, that's where they make most of their money is in the DLC content. They've got the core game out there, and, like, they get people to buy it for the 25 bucks or whatever. And then once you have it, and they release all the DLCs, they'll release, like, 15 DLCs or something over the lifespan of the game, each of them worth five apiece. It's already, you know, more than the, uh, than the core game.
You have the option to pick up the fastest screw option? I think I already have it. I should actually see if I... I might have points here. I might have leveled up. Hold on. Oop. Yeah, I'll turn around. Um, I've already maxed out my screwing speed, though. Um, I do have five points available. I can put them into uh, park placement, which will help speed things up a bit. Probably should have gone for the thing with the... Uh, I mean, I haven't been doing orders, but... Oh, let's add, let's boost our movement speed too, so when we're at the junkyard and stuff, we can get around a little quicker. Oh wait, as long as we're off here, let's grab another, another break on the go. How goes the assembly? We're still in the ripping apart phase right now. We're just getting the engine all ripped apart right now. This won't take the whole stream either, so we'll probably uh, we'll grab another car. I think I have something else out in the I think I'm, like a Corvette or something out in the, uh, in the the parking area that we can grab. We can uh, redo that one and sell it off. Oh wait, what am I thinking? We've got that gold DeLorean we grabbed. We can do that. <laughs> we'll just do a double DeLorean stream. Is any of that engine fixable? It will be, yeah. Um, anything that, so on the top left here, as I pull the pieces out, you'll see it has, it'll give the, the condition of the part. Uh, anything that's above 15%, well, not anything, but a lot of the pieces that are above 15% will be repairable. So like if I pull off the oil pan, for example, it's 27%, so I'll be able to repair that. Um, rod caps and and the crankshaft bearings I can uh, I can repair if they're above 15 percent the um, the pistons though I can't be, can't be repaired regardless of the condition so we'll have to buy those but a lot of the engine can be fixed per fox is the usual method of rapid vehicle disassembly <laughs> usually when the zombies are chasing you it is a faster way to take a vehicle apart I'll give you that. It doesn't lend itself to good reassembly, though. See, that one's 12%, so that one won't be fixable. Where's the flux capacitor? It's in the car. Yeah, we don't get to take it out. It's just a decorative piece in the uh, interior part of the car. Boom! All right, and just all ripped apart. The uh, flux capacitor is right there. It's busy doing its fluxing and possibly some capacitoring. Your record is 478 or 487 kilometers an hour with the LX 555. Nice. I think 398 was the max I've gotten up to so far. 398 is where I capped out. And that was with the station wagon of all things. Ah, oh, I broke it. Now, granted, we put a supercharger in that station wagon, but still. You know, I've still only seen like one of the DLC cars too. I know two. We saw um, we've gotten one electric car, uh, and we got one of the Nissan cars, and that's it. Gotta find some more of those. <laughs> Next like is the lucky guy to get sixty nine. <laughs> We're all ten. If I get to pull apart the rims and the strut, yeah, I gotta do that too. Now you can't fix any component of the uh, the shocks, unfortunately. But the rims we could fix. If we're gonna crank this thing up with performance parts too, I'm gonna need to put some fatter tires on the back. And whenever I don't, the car just is so squirrely.
Success! Let's get all this ripped apart. Boop, boop, boop. Oh man, how do I have so many shocks in there? I had four sets of them. <laughs> all right. I guess I'm in, uh, starting a little collection or something. Yeah, the Matrix 4 is coming out December 2021. That soon? I had heard they were working on another Matrix movie, but I, I didn't think it, because they would pretty much have to already be done filming and editing and everything by now. I just saw the trailer the other day for um, Spider-Man No Way Home. That was cool. Like fat tires in the front too for the squirrely factor, yeah. I've been trying to make them bigger. Um, I, I don't want to go like all slicks because then you can't really control the car at all. It goes in a straight line fine and that's about it. <laughs> uh, I wanted to slide around a little bit, but I've been trying to just like make the existing tires fatter so that you know, we get a little bit more traction, but I don't have to go like full slick. It only sort of works though. I guess the last piece Insta repaired? <laughs> Searching for menus in the Matrix 4 just before. Oh, yeah. Usually run 225 in the front and 285 in the back. I, uh, I, I've tried going, going as high as like 295 in the back. Um, and it sort of depends on the car. Like by the time you get like 1300 horsepower, it doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> if you don't, oops. If you don't have slicks on, then it, it's almost like it, it just doesn't matter at that point. Uh, okay, so the um, crankshaft is not a performance part. Alternator and pump will be, so there's my, uh, oops. Clear out my shopping list here. Tag those. Tag that. Tag a filter. I just did something else. I don't know what it was. Uh, I know I need some rod caps. I don't know how many I need. Flywheel. Fuel filter. Start grabbing all the uh, performance parts here. Uh, oh, I take the engine block. That's weird. Make sure I have bearing cap. What? All right, flywheel, fuel filter. Okay, we're gonna need uh, some clutch parts here. Oops. Uh, spark plugs. Figure that out. What kind of a M shaft do I need in this thing? I'm gonna need multiples, I think. All right. Uh, okay, so I do need uh, I do need some rod caps. I can't remember how many I, I, I needed, but we'll grab a couple. Yeah, like four of them, I guess. Uh, we need piston rings. Oops. I think I need at least one bearing. Um, we'll need four of these. Clutch release bearing, we'll need two. Hello, Friday night. Oh yeah, can't go wrong with a Friday. Yeah, I grabbed uh, I grabbed performance pistons, but we have to get the piston rings were not performance. Um, we got the alternator already. We got the power steering pump. We got the clutch components. Engine heads we're gonna need. Uh, I'm just not sure which ones we need yet, so I'll just hold off on that. Probably have too many rod caps now, but that's all right. John Wick is an all persona of Neo. <laughs>
They need to do like some sort of a crazy mashup of his movies like John Wick and Bill and Ted's Excellent Matrix Adventure with Speed. What it is, Fox? What it is? Hey, Charles, how you doing? Rip it over. You know what's better than Friday the next day? <laughs> I guess, although the, the nice thing about Fridays is you have that whole day of anticipation about the weekend, I guess. Once the weekend started, you're already looking toward the end of it. Uh, let's see if we have performance engine ads in here. Yes, we do. This thing is gonna fly. Uh, Camshaft V6B, I'm gonna need four of them. Please, for your sanity, don't do a full three-star car. It made me cry. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm i not in a rush to do it, that's for sure. I, I've seen people, I've posted some videos where they did a three-star car. Um, yeah, it really doesn't seem worth it for the sheer amount of scrap that's involved. Plus all the time it takes to like individually upgrade all the components. No, I didn't do ignition coils. And from what I've gathered, you're you're not really netting much for all the effort either. The freaking DJ hooker. Let's have to work Friday though, Fox. You're only happy because you didn't work today. That could be it. That might be it, Robin. I'll give you that. Oh, camshaft bearings. Um, uh, right, we're gonna need four of those. I. I mean, there won't be performance parts for that, but. Bum -bum. I think somebody mentioned that when I was in the parts there and I neglected to grab them. Are those performance bolts for putting the engine? Absolutely. These bolts are guaranteed to make your car go at least 2% faster for each bolt. So by the time you bolt the whole car together, it should be going a couple hundred percent faster than normal. Where's Doc and Marty? They're, they're stuck. We've got to get back to the future. Great Scott! I was going to try... I, I ran out of time, but I was going to... Uh, I was going to try and get like a sound bite of uh, Doc Brown saying Great Scott so I could use it over and over again during the stream with my Elgato stream deck. But I just did, I didn't have the time to do it. Guaranteed it would have been annoying before I was finished, and that would have been fine by me. <laughs> Still working on your three star from over 10,000 scrap, and you're not selling it afterwards. It's the fake Lambo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, from what I've gathered, the, um, the performance boost you get off of it is not, not terribly good. Uh, and you also don't really get much value boost out of it, so it's kind of a shame, really. Kerry, how you doing? Remember to leave the time circuits on when you go put, put in the dyno. <laughs> yeah. It's fired up on the dyno and, oh crap, where'd the car go? <laughs> oh, I need that. Uh, I don't know if that's a performance part or not. Let's check. Yes, it is. It's just something about that ratchet sound when you're putting the like taking the cars uh, putting the cars together and taking them apart and stuff that I just find so uh, I don't know if satisfying is the right word, but there's just something about it that I like. It's almost soothing. Uh, 
Uh, is that a standard in-game engine? I, I think so, yeah. So normally with the with the mods, um, they have to work with in-game assets for things like that, as I understand it. Could be I could be wrong. Uh, I don't even know what engine this is, actually. I should have looked when we were putting it on the stand. I don't think the thermostat has a performance par, but we'll check it. No, definitely not. Oops. Blew it. Race King Gaming. Thanks for the super chat. What's a three-star part? Uh, so hold on one second here. So as we're putting parts on the vehicle, you'll see up at the top here, it's got these stars. It's just like an upgraded part. You earn scrap by, uh, well, you can get it out of um, out of the loot boxes you get in the game, but you, you can also get it by breaking down parts that you don't need that can't be repaired. And so you earn scrap, and then you can spend the scrap to upgrade the part, and it increases up to a total of three stars. Um, this one's a zero star one because none of them are filled in. Um, but it's supposed to increase the value of the standard components, and then for the performance parts, it's supposed to give them a small performance increase boost by boosting it up to a three-star part. It doesn't seem to net a whole lot, though, so... Um, for the for the difficulty of getting the... Um, getting the scrap in the game, it just doesn't seem to necessarily work out as being worth it. Especially if you're rushing it. Like, if you were just gonna, like, gradually gather up scrap over a long period of time and then eventually get around to doing it and then it might be a little more worthwhile but I, thought I bought these already clearly I didn't they did well this mod and the coils and the thrusters parts are so nice and they're ready Pretty player one bumper gave me a warm fuzzy too. Nice. <laughs> Used an auto clicker on the salvager after buying all the parts. Yeah, that would help. If you had an auto clicker, that would certainly help. Did I get the power string pump already? I did. I think I grabbed the alternator as well, so we can slap that in here. Slap it in, just slap it in. Okay, all these are going to be parts we have to buy because they just cannot be fixed. And I probably should have... <laughs> probably should have got rid of some of my... Uh, some of my shopping list before I did that. Uh, fuel oil, thermostat, throttle... Okay, this is where we are. There we go. Slap, slap, slappity, slap. <laughs> slap, slap, slapperoo. You slap it in. These are weird cars to look at in person. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it's just, it's very outside the norm of uh, automotive engineering. Maybe, maybe it'll look a little bit more normal once there's uh, some more cyber trucks rolling around on the road. Hi, how do you upgrade a part? Um, so you have to have the station for upgrades unlocked, and then you take the part out back, uh, and there's like a little... Um, I don't know what to call it, like uh, one of those shipping containers back there, and inside the shipping container is a uh, the salvage bench, and you would use that to upgrade the parts as well as the salvage parts. So let's say I wanted to upgrade. Is this belt tensioner upgradable? It is. Okay. Let's let's say I wanted to upgrade this belt tensioner. Uh, I would go out back, preferably using the door, and then inside this little shipping container here, there's this bench. So you just go in here and you choose at the top upgrade parts with scrap and then you can click on it to upgrade. I don't want to actually click because I don't mind up actually upgrading. But you can see like this one would go from a zero star part to a one star and the value of the part goes from 30 credits to 32 credits. So it's a pretty, pretty tiny increase. Uh, if you do it with performance parts, you get a slight increase of the tuning performance it gives. So you might argue that maybe um, maybe upgrading performance parts is worth it. 
but it's not uh, it's not a significant amount. I guess it would add up if you did enough of them, but. Oh, timing covers. Can I break these things? Sounds like something I do. Uh, I do the Ferrari 458 is your three-star car, and trust me, it will drive you mad. I had to average a green just to keep the car. Yeah, I, it's, uh, I've been, I, there's a reason I haven't done one yet, let's just say. <laughs> I have not been in a rush to torture myself that way. I just sort of thought, once I saw some people had rushed out videos for it, and I knew I wasn't going to, I just, I just didn't really worry about it anymore. Oops. I mean, uh, which idler roller was that? an A. Yeah. I think I who's uh, I think it was um Diesel Designs I saw do it. And I was like, "Wow, I am uh I'm really <laughs> really not going to spend the time to get all the scrap to do that." <laughs> I thought his brain was going to melt at one point. Join your DeLorean. Hey, this is Payne. How you doing? Awesome so far. You did a really good job on this. I'm jealous. I wish I had the uh, the skill for doing uh, mods and stuff. I love the interior of the car. It's amazing. We also found the gold DeLorean when we were just like we were mucking around in uh, in a barn, and, and I found one. So we have the um, I think this is the 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 13. Hold on a second. Let me just double check. <laughs> I'm all turned around here. I think this is the 13 we have. No, it's the 12. So the DMC 12 we have, and then I have a gold one that we have out in storage too. <laughs> sell value, we can sell over 3,900. But I mean, there's nothing on it. This one's completely stripped down. But this interior looks amazing. I didn't realize you could animate parts in the car either. So the flux capacitor in there is so cool. Making the interior work was such a pain. I bet it was, yeah. That, that flux capacitor in there is so cool. Oh, even the uh, even little bar charts over here that go up and down. The dates and everything that change. It turned out great. I mean, with a lot of the mods and stuff, there's uh, there's often something that's like noticeably just not right. <laughs> um, but the look of this one's very very cool, and I love that you got the fusion thing to open also. So the Mister Fusion uh, reactor or whatever. The fact that you can open that up is so great. a small detail but just uh very good uh okay this is all done here i think we can get the engine off of here now you can remove and repair the clamshell the wires on the body part did i miss i missed pulling something off oh i did oh jeez <laughs> okay Perfect. Oh my god, I didn't even notice the escape the hoverboard in there. That is awesome. I love it. It even says Mattel on it. <laughs> I didn't spot that at first. That's cool. Oh, I didn't get the engine cover either. Man, I didn't get all kinds of stuff here. What else did I miss? There's something else back here too. What is that? Oh, the fuse box. Ah. I'm just pulling the fuse box out. The part's kind of hidden in here. Uh, you're missing spark plugs and ignition coils? Oh, am I on that one side? Okay, I'll check. Hold on. I know we did the one side, but then I got, I got distracted. Ooh, squirrel! We don't need no stinking spark plugs. We'll just blast some lightning into it. It'll be fine. If it worked for Marty, it'll work for us. It says it's 100%. <laughs> it's definitely not, though. There's definitely spark plugs missing. That's funny. It's like, of all the parts that are in here, they're 100%. Do you have 100% of the parts? No, not so much. 
fairly certain we did the other side. Yeah, okay, we got that. We're good. Thank you. It might have been funnier to let me finish the car, and then when I go to start it, have it tell me I didn't have spark plugs, but... <laughs> uh, alright. They did get a train to time travel, too, yeah. <laughs> need to do the clutch assembly? Yeah, I just plan to do the clutch assembly once it was in the car already. You don't need to do it when it's on the engine stand, necessarily. Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't weld the body, either. It was already in pretty good shape, but we'll just make sure it's top of the line. At least this isn't a regular version. Uh, if it was all those tuning parts, it still wouldn't make to, even to 200 horsepower, really. <laughs> I had, uh, so if you get the uh, if you get the default version, you can't push 200 horse. Fix. Oh yeah, I gotta fix the parts I did. Ah, we got it. Maybe I'll put the outside of the car back on. There is one fender that was missing when we got this in the barn, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to buy that. But it, we fixed pretty much all the rest of the other parts, I think. I love how this turned out. Was this one, uh, Payton, is this one that you had already in um, CMS 2018 and you just updated it to work in 2021? Or did you build it fresh for 2021? Yeah, this is the fender that was missing here. Uh, that'll be in the community body parts over here. Um... Front fender, left, front left fender. It's the rear left fender I need. MC12 rear left fender. No, it's this one here, the Back to the Future one. There we go. Got it. Hope that's right. Yeah, it's a match. Okay, good. Put on the last, if you put on the last clamshell, you can make the coils glow and yes, you updated it for 2021, improving a lot of the textures and adding new parts like Ready Player One front end. Oh yeah, someone else mentioned that, the uh, Ready Player One front end. Is the windshield a fixed acid in this? Can't take that out. Or did I just... I, th I think I forgot to pull the windshield out when we did... <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that fixable? No. Okay, good. Yeah, this is the Steam Workshop. I put a link in the description when I set up the stream to do that goes directly to, um, to the mod. If you're not familiar with how mods work for Car Mechanic Simulator, it's really, really easy. You just find whatever mod you want to add to your game. You click subscribe, it does a little bit of an install, and the next time you launch your game, it's there. It's super, super easy. Uh, so I need... I need windshields and stuff. Uh... Does it matter which windshield? DMC-12 windshield? I guess just this one? I also need side glass... side windows. Right body window A, right body window A, B. Oh, that's an alternate tinted version. Oops, oh. So I get that. Um, we're gonna do the left body window, I guess. We need the doors. Okay. Ow! No, don't do that. Let's pull it apart. 
Uh, for the body windows, you want C. Oh, do I? Right body window A. So this one's saying A. Is it C? I got the wrong thing, though, for sure. <laughs> Oh, here we go. So that's the left body window. Uh, there, got it. That's better. It doesn't look like I was able to fix the engine cover, was I? Your bumper. Let it go. See you, Carrie. Need the time machine part windows. Yeah, I got those. So there's are in. Um, we got the glass. Oh, let's do the windshield in the front here. That's taken care of. I think. I think we got all the body parts in. The engine cover is actually like in the engines, and it's not like a body part. This looks so awesome. No, Mr. Fusion! Oh no, there is one, there is one. Hold on, we got, uh, what am I missing here? I'm, I'm missing like a trunk or something that's supposed to go on. I think I have to do like the engine cover and stuff here first. Oh, there we go. Engine cover, there. Car part one. And then the Mr. Fusion trunk. Boom. Now we got it. <laughs> I love this Mr. Fusion. <laughs> that's the gr that's great. <laughs> I don't know why that amuses me so much. Uh, now I have a problem. I can't see the engine. <laughs> I might I might have to take this off just so I can get in here and work the engine, and then we'll put it back on after. <laughs> it's a little easier to click on things. Uh, what else am I missing in here? Coolant reservoir. Oh, we got the uh, air filter base. Air filter will do. There's a version of the vents that, uh, that work. Engine cover has to go on to put the parts on. I saw that, yeah. Did you get the time machine hood? Did I not grab it? Oh, this one here. The vent thrust? But G. It's 8,500 credits, but let's see what that looks like when we put it on. Because this, this hood that's on here is, is just the one that was on the car. I fixed it. But we could do, uh, we could do this hood instead. <laughs> that looks like the, uh, from the, in the movie where they went back to, like, um, when they had to like to make the train or whatever it looks almost like. That's for Back to the Future 3. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my god, so cool. That's the BTDF3 version. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I gotta go to this view. Alright. Let's go get more parts we gotta stick in here. That else I was gonna grab too. Oh, the coolant reservoir. Um, oh, I also need more of the clips. I think it's clip A for the uh, for the air filter. You're the best. Thanks, crackhead. <laughs> To put that in my marketing papers when people are like, because every now and then I'll get a I'll get a developer that will reach out and they'll be like, hey, do you have a uh, like a marketing uh, marketing card or whatever? And to put in uh, approved by crackheads everywhere. <laughs> eighteen eighty five was the year, yeah, yeah. Uh, that makes sense because instead of going to nineteen eighty five, they went to eighteen eighty five. Okay, we need a whole bunch of fuses here. Relays and things. Uh, 
Get rid of all this stuff I don't need. Relay type A, we need two of those. Uh, two of the type B's. Four of the type C's. This is distracting me from finishing the mod you're currently working on. <laughs> Excellent. Anytime we can make things more distracting, you let me know. What, uh, what mod are you working on right now, Payne? I'm really impressed by the mod community for this game. And by this game, I mean the, the Car Mechanic Simulator series in general. The quality of some of the stuff that comes out is so good. Hey, you're out. Thank you for the stream. It was great to see you around. All right, see you, Timothy. Thanks for dropping in. Not crackheads everywhere. Only approved by crackheads on YouTube. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Work on the McLaren F1. Oh, that'll be sweet. I got, uh, there's only two mods I picked up so far. I made a, I made a, a livery myself for the, uh, the mystery machine. And that was enough to convince me that, um, the people who make the, uh, I thought I had it in my shopping list. Uh, the people that make the mods uh, clearly have infinitely more patience than I do. <laughs> Because the uh, delivery was a real pain to make. And I didn't even do that many body components. It was just some of the outer panels I did. I was like, wow. How do they do it? <laughs> Painted a lot of mods for CMS 15. Yeah, I had... Um, it's been a while since I played... Um, since I played CMS 18. But I, I did... Uh, I know I had some from Lit. Um, and a couple of others. I'm not sure if I saw any of yours, Payne. But again, it's been probably a year since I played Car Mechanic Simulator. Okay, um, was there not any more of the, uh... Is this like, power steering and stuff? Oh, it's up here. That's what the problem is. So, we need a brake servo. I, I don't think I had one. No. Let's should wash a reservoir. There should be a power steering reservoir somewhere hidden here. Unless maybe not. I guess not. Oh, did I fix the uh, radiator? Darn right we did. All right, let's get the... Uh, uh, Lunchwood washer, reservoir, and the brake servo. 1.21 gigawatts! Just by delivery go well with Chianti. <laughs> mm, it's fun to go with fava beans and a bottle of Chianti. It has Armstrong steering. Oh, that kind of steering. Stretch Armstrong? Oh, man, these arms stretch out to there. Uh, Kraken, I'm pretty sure I've said your name a few times already. I don't do, like, shout-out things. Do I need to say the words shout-out for its account? I mean, I, I, <laughs> how does that work? Shout out to French Toast, the person who makes all your liveries for you. Oh, yeah. Good job, French Toast. I would not want that job. So, excellent job for you to do it. <laughs> Just the one for the van was bad enough. If I had to do, like, a whole pile of them, I'd probably lose my mind. Um, those are both the same. Should have performance muffler parts here. Ah, oh, muffler D is not a performance part. That's a shame. Need the fan for the radiator? Well, let's see what um, let's see what else we need there. Still, I saw the. It doesn't look like it has one. We'll check it out when we get up front there, but I don't see uh, I don't see fan for that. Oh, I didn't get a starter. Oh, I did. All right, we fixed it. We're good. We're good. I'm so used to the cars not having a starter when I get them. Steam Workshop to find CMS 2021. Yeah, if you guys are trying to find um, the Steam Workshop, it, it's a, kind of a funny setup, actually, to get into it. The Car Mechanic Simulator. 
So sorry. Um, if you go into uh, the, if you're in the store page, for example, and you look down on the right hand side, there's Steam Workshop here, but that's not the one you want. That just takes you to like the general Steam Workshop, not the one that's specific to the game. If you go down farther, then go visit the workshop, then that will take you to the the one that's specific for the game. Um, and so this particular one, uh, mod that we're working on right now is uh, under the most subscribed one. You'll find the DeLorean right here. And then it's got like the list of all the different DeLorean cars in it, which is pretty awesome. There's like so many variants. You got your standard gold painted 2022 carbon fiber wood body and then three different time machine versions. That's pretty cool. We're doing like, uh, it's like an all DeLorean night tonight. So we have the time machine one we're working on now and then uh, have the gold one that I want to do also. Yeah, it's on the main page now, but it's just I if you're not um if you're not as familiar with with accessing the workshop, it's really easy to click on the wrong one and it takes you to the generic one and you're like, "Well, I don't understand. Where's the thing I want?" Wood body, yeah. <laughs> Wood body DeLorean. <laughs> Little Einstein's. My daughter likes to sing that. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't do the. I disassembled the shocks, didn't I? But I didn't. I didn't buy any new ones. What does it got on the front of this thing for shocks? Yeah, we'll deal with the back ones first, I guess. And then we'll take a look at what's up front. The wishbone rear. Two of those. We need springs. Does he use a rear spring for these or a front spring? Firing minds want to know. Because the rear spring is a little bit shorter, but it does use the rear spring. Okay. Barney's chasing you. <laughs> like Barney the Purple Dinosaur? They should make CMS 2021 in VR. Well, they just came out with Car Mechanic Simulator in VR. I wouldn't be surprised if they, uh, if they made this one VR as well. I haven't tried it yet on VR. I should try that. It's a question of whether I can play it on my Oculus Quest 2. So many wheel bearings. You know, Woody Wagon with the surfboards on the roof. <laughs> well, there there is a there is the Woody Wagon already. Um, that's the one that we we got up to like 398 kilometers an hour with. We dropped the supercharged engine in it. What they need to do is make it so the hood clips properly. The VR version kind of sucks. It's a port of 2018 by another dev. Oh, is it? I haven't tried it. I, I saw it and I thought it looked neat, but it's a shame when it's uh, not a good port, though. Okay, that's all good. Prop me go. But I bought enough bushings. Way bar didn't buy. Flux capacitor is a part that you can take out and fix. It's the clamshell piece. Yeah, uh, I pulled the clamshell out and fixed it. Um, I didn't realize that we could at first. And then uh, someone mentioned it, so we pulled it out and fixed it up. Right, was that right? Oh, that's my last 100% bushing. I guess I need more. I need at least two more. Oh, probably more, actually. I didn't even think about the uh, front wheel suspension. Okay, that's good. 
Instead of VR, you can just go and work on a car and see how much different it is. <laughs> the trouble is, that comes with responsibilities. The VR game doesn't. <laughs> It's not like I've never worked on a car, it's just I never gained any real confidence at it. I did uh, I did a high school auto shop, and my dad had a farm, and he was a mechanic, so, you know, I did a certain amount of stuff there, but... I've never really, uh, gained any degree of professionalism. <laughs> you switch out the clamshell for the clamshell F, it glows? I thought it was already glowing, let me take a look. Hold on a second. Because it's got the, um... Like, it's got the flux capacitor light and stuff going in there. But where does it glow? Back here? I can't open the doors right now, but... It's got the, 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 the animation inside. Where does it glow? My dad's farm was... It wasn't a hobby farm. <laughs> he had a hundred head of cattle. <laughs> Close on the outside. Oh, really? Okay, hold on a second. Let's take a look at that. Uh, vent thrusts. It says the clamshell, right? Rear clamshell. See this one here? Oh, it was the clamshell C I had. Oh, F. Oh, shoot. I bought the wrong one. <laughs> oh, this one here. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, it even makes the front glow. Ha! <laughs> That's neat. <laughs> I'm amused by the little things. Do you think mileage counts for value, especially during auction? Uh, you know, I don't know. I never considered that. I suppose it's possible. Uh, I need a whole lot more bushings. Oops. I think it'll do. Mindless does lower value. Oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, it makes sense that it does. I just wasn't sure whether they accounted for that in the game. Buy a million rubber bushings. I have a tendency to want to clear up my inventory regularly, so that's why I don't just buy a million of them. It's just like when I'm when I'm all finished a job, I, I like the uh, I like the cleanliness of having an empty inventory. Jonathan with Super Chat. Thanks for the CMS 2021 streams. Now you got me on State of K2 as well. <laughs> You're welcome. That's a... Uh... Oh, I haven't put that together yet. Um, State of K2 is one of those games where the first time I played it, I didn't really get hooked into it. I played it a, a, like a very little bit. And then I set it aside for a while. And I, I came back to it much later. And then I was hooked. <laughs> By a billion engine pieces. I mean... If we were doing, um, if we're doing sandbox mode, that would be a lot easier, <laughs> but we're, uh, we do have certain cash limitations. Should turbo it? I didn't do an engine swap here, we just put in the one that was in it. I don't, actually, I don't, can you do engine swaps with, uh, with modded cars? Is there just something they have to define in the config file or something to allow for it? I need calipers uh, and a cylinder. Oh, there's the fan. I need it's on that side. Um, it's gonna be a double fan. So this is the radiator fan housing B. 
Uh, and I'm pretty sure that one has two different fans in it. Yeah, housing me one and two. So we'll put that on when I get back in the engine compartment. Oh. I only need that too. Swap the Nissan engine into it? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't swap the Nissan engine. I, I need to update it to remove it because it doesn't work. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I had seen some people make comments on the Steam Workshop about that engine. Leave it to Rabbit Dog to tell me to do it though, because that's um, that's definitely his MO. Like, listen, if you can hear this thing doesn't work, you need to do it not just once, but twice. <laughs> So, hypothetically, we built a car that light speed enough to go back in the past with it. Well, I mean, this thing only goes up to 88, 88 miles an hour, so I don't know if I would call that you know, light speed or whatever. It's more like it's opening a window to the past and then driving through it. Uh, okay, I think we're down to just the wheels. And I gotta get that fan on, so we'll do that from the back here. To the front. Beauty. It's hard to tell if I'm missing anything now. I mean, I, we'll see when we look at the percentages, but. I should probably put the fluids in it because I'm going to forget otherwise. Oh, did I put in a regular fuel pump? <laughs> I thought I bought the performance fuel pump. Oh, overshot. There we go. Thank you. Any performance parts allowed in this? Yeah, we've been uh, we've been putting all the performance parts we could into it. So, uh, predominantly just engine components in this one. Um, there's only the short little mufflers. They're not performance parts available though. Um, performance fuel pump in there. Performance air filter. Uh, but otherwise, it was just a mix of components in the engine we were able to do. Uh, um, oh, I need to do the windshield washer fluid up here. Put slicks on it or white walls. I'm gonna use the same types of tires. I'm just gonna make them a little bit fatter. We'll see how that holds. Uh, okay, I think we're good. I think. Assemble the rest of the body here and we'll see. Oh, I haven't done the interior either. Um, Done. So now we need the uh, we need the wheels. I got the the rims all fixed. <laughs> we have we have a few extra parts. <laughs> uh, where's the rims? You know what? Actually, let's um sort these according to the condition. All right. So 14 inch rims uh, on the front, 15s on the back. Uh, where are the tires? Vintage Racer 245. Okay. Tire shop. What are we looking at? Look at all this extra junk here. 
All right, so 245, 60R15s. I'm going to go a lot fatter on the back, though. So, 60R15s. Go like 295 on the back. I don't need, I don't know that we're going to get as much of a boost out of this like from performance parts. So it may not even matter. But we'll, we'll put them a little fatter on there, because otherwise, I, I just the the um, the wheels get so slippery in this game. 195 60R14s for the front. We'll go up like 225 for those. See if it works. Worst case scenario, it doesn't. We slide all over the place, but that's pretty standard for me. <laughs> No white walls. No. Just using the same ones that were on it. Nope, wrong button. Two car, you should put back the previous hood. Yeah, I'm not picky. Whatever works. Oh, that looks cool. I'm fine with it. <laughs> is the uh, is the Back to the Future three car that that significantly different looking? Names of the brands of this just kicked, it took me Firewheel DC instead of AC, DW instead of WD. Yeah. <laughs> I think the, the configuration you should max out around 170 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. So we're not exactly going to get a whole lot of extra power out of it. You know what? Did I even put... I didn't even put a custom gearbox on this thing. That was silly. What was I thinking? Oh, I gotta take the starter out. I have to use a custom gearbox. Not that I know at all what I'm doing with adjusting uh, the gearbox, but if we're gonna build all those performance parts in it, we can't skimp out on the gearbox. Uh, so this is the back of the car. I had a monster truck build. Do you guys say a monster truck would be neat? I thought I saw one that was a little bit like a monster truck already. I thought there was a mod that had like it was like really boosted up. But you having us from part three? Yeah. All right, we'll swap it back. Whatever. I'm not picky. Uh, the BTT F3 is basically a Volkswagen Baja Beetle with a DeLorean shell on top of it, so it flipped quite a bit more with different wheels. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, they were going a little more off-roading, I guess, since they didn't have roads. <laughs> roads? Oh, where are we going? Where we're going. They don't make roads. All right. Wheels acquired. Right, we'll swap the hood back. We spent a lot of extra money on this car just by buying pieces we didn't need, but... Oops. Not that it matters. There we go. Blammo! That looks really cool. What's the condition like? Am I missing anything? Yeah, we made a little bit of money on it. We would have if we sold it. Body's still 92%. Oh, I don't have plates on it yet. Okay, we need, uh, need some plates. 
put some California plates in here. California. Wait, is there two T's? Oh my god, I can't remember. Is it out of time or is it out of time? Is it a single T? Oops. Yeah, it's gonna be a single T, we wouldn't fit two. Ah, cool. One T. Yeah, we didn't have enough for two T's. It's okay. Uh, out of time. <laughs> this one's gonna stay in the garage. We're not gonna sell this one off. Oh, I can't see it on the, on the front, but that's alright. Ah, oh, that's so cool. The body still says 99%. There's something I've screwed up. Shoot. <laughs> I'm either missing one little component, or there's something that wasn't quite fixed. Oh, actually, it should tell me if I go in the individual parts. Uh... Oh, the front door left window. I didn't... I didn't do that, really? 93%? Alright. That's so weird, because I had a 100% window. Why did I put in the non-100% one? That's weird. Super word. 100% across the board. Nice. <laughs> Back license plate fell off again. <laughs> Be awesome if it said 88% complete. I'd be like, no. No. All right, let's, uh, obviously we don't need to paint this thing. Uh, let's go get the alignment straightened out. Zero of 10, Mr. Window. <laughs> I, uh... Oh. I had the window in it. I just didn't, uh... <laughs> didn't have the right one in there. A bit of rubbing on those fenders. Ah, that's okay. We, uh... I did kind of make the, the wheels a little bigger, so... Probably not going to be a perfect fit. Car alignment chaotic evil. <laughs> okay, let's uh, pop it on the dyno and see what it has to say. I'm kind of curious now. I didn't have the left one in there. No, I pulled it out. The left one wasn't there. Look, it. it uh, I had the 93% one in there. I, it showed me in the top left when I took it out. You bought the 100% window after you had finished the window. Oh, did I? Okay. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of rubbing on those back tires, huh? They, uh... I made them significantly bigger, so it's, um... <laughs> it, it looks a little squishy in there. How much would I get for it? Oh, we'll go take a look. It, we we would have made a bit of a profit, but not a ton. those rear wells. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's, uh, let's take it out for a spin. Oh my god, it's so awesome sitting in this thing. I, this, is, this is one of those instances where I would kind of want it to be in VR. So it would seem like you're sitting in the DeLorean. I love that. Oh, darn it! <laughs> I'm always missing something. Um, how do we get to the brake fluid in this thing? There it is. 
Accessible from the engine bay. I gotta go around to the back. Um, I guess I gotta I gotta take this apart to get into the engine bay, right? There we go. Up to the brake servo. There's always something. Usually it's the oil, but if you take the left fender off, you can get to. Oh, okay. Well, it's alright. We went in from the back end. Cool, they did a really good job on the interior. They did, and actually, this is Payne, who's in chat right now, he is the one who did the mod. So, uh, amazing job on Payne's part. Okay, let's see if we've actually got all the fluids in now. <laughs> uh, uh, speed track. Power steering I did early. Oh, there is no, there is no power steering reservoir, so we didn't need that. But we've done all the other fluids. Way too long to make, so you're glad people like the interior. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Like I said, I want this. I wish I could look around when I'm in the driver's seat, but. Oh jeez, that's still squirrely even with the fatter tires. As long as I keep it straight, it's not too bad. We gotta. Uh, we need to add another gear. This needs. This has got more room to run. <laughs> That's definitely more than eighty-eight for sure. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be cool if you took the drag and there's the animation for the back. The future. Oh yeah. If you could get like the flaming, flaming tire tracks and like the lightning effect, like shooting out to the front of the car, that'd be so amazing. Uh, okay, hold on. I, I, we did put that custom gearbox in, so we can add another gear here. I have no idea what we should set the ratio at on it, but... I don't like that. If we lower this down a little bit, we might get a bit more headroom out of it, too. See what happens. This car's a scam. It doesn't time travel. If only it would. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll have the speed drag again. Let's try that again. Didn't need that gear, just change the final drive a bit. I guess we'll see what happens. What do I know? Trying to make flaming tire tracks with the plug-in to make that work on Unity cost money. Oh, yeah.
our fancy time traveling DeLorean. That's uh that did look great. That is an awesome looking mod. That's one of the more impressive ones I've seen for sure. Yeah, the uh cars are super loud in this game anytime you're uh anytime you're driving the it's like the the volume just like jumps up a whole nother level. <laughs> as fast as your bike 300 kilometers an hour yeah <laughs> all right uh i'm gonna put this one into storage because i don't want to sell it off but if we were going to sell it we would have sold it for 117,000. so profit of 73,210 relative to where we bought it now that that doesn't include what we spent on all the parts and stuff um so definitely it uh the profit's not that that big of a margin but um still pretty cool uh, we'll put this one into parking. And then uh, in the parking, we have... Uh, if I can actually go there. Over here. Uh, parking, we have the... Which one's the gold one? Oh, there it is. Gold. Okay, we're going to grab this one here. Uh, we'll move that to the garage. We've already done one DeLorean. Let's do another one. Now, this one doesn't have all the time travel type stuff on it. But it is gold. And that's pretty cool, and it is missing a lot. <laughs> I think this one we found in the junkyard, whereas uh, the time travel one we found in uh, in a barn. And the barn ones are always a little bit more complete. So definitely going to be a lot more uh, a lot more parts purchasing on this one. But let's send it off to the car wash first and get it all cleaned up. Off the old Delgado mine it goes. <laughs> Yeah, this is a good mod. I, I love that there's also multiple versions of the car, so it's not even just like getting one car in the mod. Why would you want to easily do over 500 kilometers an hour? Really? It's crazy. City of the Phasmophobia update. Uh, I didn't, although... Um, you know what? I don't think I did see it. I'll have to take a look. Might be able to play, uh, play that with Nate. Not that we don't have enough games to try to play already, but... Rear bumper, car part one. Engine cover. Strip it all down. Hey, it looks like the same car now. <laughs> uh, maybe not entirely. Well, what is it worth uh, making a, a drag car? It's the proper 130 horsepower. Oh, is it? <laughs> so we won't bother with the performance parts on this one then. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just make do with the regular ones. Uh, so for the engine compartment, we need to go up here to get... What's that sticker say on there? Never noticed the sticker on the fuel tank before. Radiator's gotta come out. The rest of it we're gonna have to jack the vehicle up for. Clip A. Yeah, my bane. It was really the clip B's that got me most of the time, because I was forever forgetting to put them on the distributor cap. I mean, clips in general are not my friend, but uh, with the clip B, I was forever forgetting in 2018. Right door cost you over 12k to buy the gold. Oh, really? Alright, so hopefully we can sell this for a pretty penny then. This one we won't keep. We're just going to keep the time machine one. This one we'll rebuild and we'll sell it off to recoup some of the cash that we spent tonight. I wish the uh, the parking lot was a little bit more more decorative for displaying the vehicles we have. 2018 it wasn't bad. You could go in and look around and see all your different cars in one place that you've done, but like the individual door thing that it did for 2021 is very lackluster. DeLorean, you're lucky if it runs. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's Mr. Old Reliable. Your sandbox game, you have this gold DeLorean and you're gonna three star full performance. So I guess in the sandbox you don't have to spend you don't have to spend time and effort making scrap, do you? You can just make everything three star and do whatever. 
They made an actual gold leaf coated DeLorean. <laughs> That's probably what this is. Is this supposed to be representative of that one? Is that why the, the ports the parts are so expensive? It's actual gold leaf? That would be a heavy car, man. Gold leaf's not that thick, but when you get a car's worth of it, it's gotta add up. Is there a flux capacitor mod? Uh, so we just did the time machine one, uh, and it has the flux capacitor in it. Now we're doing the gold one. So it's um, this is like the standard DeLorean, but in gold. So it doesn't have the flux capacitor. It doesn't need 1.21 gigawatts. Although I suspect Doc Brown would still say, Great Scott, if he saw the price of it. You missed it. Well, I mean, it'll be in the stream recording at least. Let's do a Knight Rider build. Uh, I don't know if there's a Knight Rider mod yet. I think there was one for 2018 that I did, but um, I don't think there's one for 2021 yet. I haven't looked uh, today at the mods to see what, if there were more there I wanted to grab. Because I already knew I was going to be doing this one. Not yet for 21? Yeah. Is that a Masquerade or Visa? I think they had a catalog you could buy. 24k gold DeLorean. I think two were claimed. Something like 80,000 US dollars in 1980s. Oh, yeah? Nutty. That's how you know you just have too much money to spend. Like, listen, I got tired of swimming around on my money like Scrooge McDuck. Instead, I'm going to have it plated on the outside of a car. <laughs> that would be cool. So would uh, the Magnum Ki Ferrari. Yeah, although the Magnum Ki Ferrari was just... I don't I don't know if there's anything, like, uniquely distinct about it, is there? It just looked like a, like a Ferrari. Start of the stream, can I borrow that DeLorean? Uh, absolutely. Make sure you get it up to 88 miles an hour. And your luck, it's the one that comes with Mr. Fusion, so you don't need to provide your own, uh, oh, can't get that from here. Uh, you don't need to provide your own radioactive material either. Make almost any car for the right donation. <laughs> Magnum PI car had a distinctly unique smell to it. <laughs> it smelled like Tom Selleck mustache. Love how I talk to chat. Well, that's kind of the point of streaming, really. To be interactive as much as possible. Otherwise, I can just upload a video and you can watch that. But yeah, I mean, uh, channels, when they get bigger and bigger, if they got a lot of people on it, it gets very difficult to chat, I guess. So I'm, I'm fortunate in that way, in that uh, I'm not quite to the point where I'm so big I can't catch a lot of the messages. Darn, I did it again. <laughs> I got so used to junkyard cars not having an oil pan that I didn't keep forgetting to drain the oil. There's almost nothing in it, though. Not even worth the effort. Other YouTubers never really talk to chat. Well, some of it depends on, like I said, on the size of the channel. You know, um... I mean, I've, I've watched some that are kind of non-interactive, but more often than not, when I've seen a, a channel that doesn't doesn't respond to chat, it's usually because they're, they're just really big, and it's really hard to keep up with thousands of people in your chat. So sometimes I think they just sort of, like, stop trying. Don't forget to weld the body. Oh, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot to do that on the last one. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's right. I'm not big enough to ignore you yet. <laughs> I still try to read and respond to every comment and stuff I get on videos, too, but, um, you know, this is what it is. I don't respond to everything, but I read everything. But, I mean, I, I've, some of the channels that I know that are, you know, they've got millions of subscribers, like, the sheer number of comments they must get. And if they go live, the sheer number of people that must be in the chat at any given time, it's gotta be mind-boggling sometimes. Just starting out streaming, but on Twitch. Nice. Yeah, it's fun. I enjoy doing it. It's, I started off... I started out doing YouTube content just as, like, a hobby thing at night. I was already playing video games, and my wife was going to bed early all the time, and... I was like, well... Let me try this whole YouTube thing. Seven years later, I'm still doing it. <laughs> can you power coat the engine? Uh, we, yeah, we can paint the engine, actually. Maybe not all of it, but we can certainly do parts of it. I don't think it adds anything to the value, but it's, uh, it'll give it like that gold look anyway. What build am I going to do next? Uh, good question. I mean, we have, um... Uh... I have another modded car that I, I picked up. Um... That I, for some reason, cannot think of the name of off the top of my head right now. I think it's a... I think it was a Mitsubishi we got. Anyway, I'll probably do that one. Um, usually when I stream, I, I we end up doing, like, two cars or whatever. So it's not like... I don't know. We can kind of go through quite a few vehicles, but... I have a I have a Corvette in storage right now, I think, in the parking space. Actually, did I put that Mitsubishi in the parking? Oh, I have this Sakura GT20 in there too. Um, so I have I have like three wrecks right now to work on. And plus, if I see any other mods and stuff I want to tackle, I'll wind up doing those too. Electric DC Typhoon was a fun short build. They have an electric one? Did someone do a mod as an electric one? Watch this chat. Fox will paint the engine, but he's colorblind, so whatever he thinks is gold, just tell him. Yeah, right. I'm not colorblind. I'm color insensitive. There's a difference. Oh, drop today. Oh yeah, see, I, I was just saying a little while ago that I, I hadn't, uh, I hadn't looked up any mods today. So many little pieces. Fox doesn't know he's colorblind. So tragic. Oh my god, I'm also tone deaf. I didn't know that either. <laughs> I need to, yeah, that's right. I need to take some color sensitivity training. True, I am colorblind. I see everyone the same. <laughs> that explains my off-color remarks. Oh yeah, it's the Lancer. That's the one I got. Thank you. I think it's sitting up in front of the garage. Oh god. I am colorblind. I couldn't see the red. <laughs> oh, how did you come to such a lowly state? Rust, lots of rust. Found a catch with live to ask my questions and nothing. Wait, what? Did I miss something? Thought I was doing pretty good at keeping up with the stuff that was flying on by in chat. But... Hold on a second. Let me scroll back.
Jordan with a question mark. Uh, what are your thoughts on realism in this game? Like if the bolt broke off, you'd have to drill it out and thread it. Oh, I see. Um, I don't know. I mean, I can see how, it, like, if you if you really wanted to get in depth, there's a lot of that kind of stuff you could do in the game. To add that extra degree of realism, like, you can do everything from like having to like pack bearings with grease and, and like having like in, when you're in the middle of working on something like bolts breaking or breaking a line and then having to deal with it. Um, I think there would come a point though where it would um, might take away from the entertainment value in the game because it is still just a game. But I bet you there's probably a market of people out there that would love to have that level of detail in it. I have a feeling though that the people who made the game or maybe not like super technically adept themselves and are just getting like a consultant, but Hey Scott, how's it going? Extra real life tech, I would like to see a game that shows real life struggles in the field. Oh yeah, yeah, see I could see that. Like if you're um I I've had a number of um mechanics pop in on the stream and mention that, you know, something's not accurate or um they wish there was a, a better degree of realism in certain aspects of the game. And so, from somebody who's, like, technically knowledgeable, that probably makes a ton of sense. Um, for your average player, though, I'm not sure. I seem... It feels like they've done a reasonably good compromise between detail and still ensuring that it maintains some of that fun gameplay. So, I don't know. It might be interesting. It'd be interesting if they had like a like a level of detail slider or something where if you wanted that level of detail you could go for it and if you didn't you could just dumb it down a little bit. Broken exhaust studs the bane of your existence. Oh, and those things always get so rusted too, right? <laughs> For the struggle with removing clips and breaking them. Oh yeah, I, I've even uh, exit or like accidentally bending a uh, a transmission line or something, like putting a kink in a line he didn't mean to. <laughs> I, I think it would be neat if they had it like an uh, I'd like to see some stuff where like if the um, if a bolt is is stuck you have to like get out the torch and heat it up to get the to get the part apart or something like that I think that would be neat the wd-40 was kind of the compromise there or the dw04 I guess they call them the game but it would be neat to like have to get out a torch and a hammer and like pound things apart and whatever And then, like, they could throw in that extra level of realism where you accidentally set the grease on fire, and then you're dealing with the part you're trying to get apart and the fire. <laughs> That's right, it needs more flaming engine disasters. Absolutely. Or if you're working on an electric car in the game and you accidentally puncture the battery. <laughs> Somebody who's done a ton of uh, farm mechanic work, 100% okay with this game as it is. Getting too real just drags away from the game, getting bored. Yeah, like I said, I'm sure there's um, there's a mix of audience there where some people would like more. I mean, I'm not a mechanic, so for me, um, I find this I find the game pretty chill. If it got to be too intense, then I, it would probably feel more like the, that. Oh shoot, um, that Diesel Bros truck game that I played that I hated. <laughs> Because I just wasn't technically knowledgeable enough to get the order of things proper. Realism mode would be awesome. The only problem with it is that it would drastically increase at-home techs who eventually would have to bring it to me to get it back together. Just think of that as job security. <laughs> I already had someone leave a comment saying that after playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, they did their own breaks. 
And all I could think of is, was that was really daring. <laughs> I'm like, you realize those are the things responsible for stopping your car, right? <laughs> Not that brake work is necessarily hard, but it struck me as an odd choice. Yeah, brakes are easy, but if you screw them up, <laughs> that has a little bit more of an impact than maybe like if your car doesn't start. Because it'll let you get going and then may not stop when you want it to. No, brakes aren't that big of a deal, but again, if you if you screw them up, I feel like it's kind of important. <laughs> brakes are supposed to leak, right? When you step on the pedal, it's not supposed to go all the way, or it's supposed to go all the way to the floor, right? And the car's supposed to keep going? Yeah, your own timing chain? Yeah, I've seen them do the timing chain in Car Mechanic Simulator. It was easy. You just took it off and put the new one on. Hopefully this wasn't their only tutorial. Yeah, he said he's like the only thing that was missing was that you needed to, you needed to uh, compress the cylinder. And I was like, yeah, but <laughs> still, pumping the brakes gives you more exercise. Yeah, <laughs> let's go with the Flintstone brakes. It's fine. Let's find out what we fixed and what we didn't fix. Um, since this car has, like, no horsepower, I'm not even going to bother with trying to do performance parts for this one. We'll make use of all the parts we fixed, and then uh, obviously buy the ones that we didn't uh, we didn't fix. Like, say, pistons. Uh, let's clear this out. And I cleared out too much. Good job. Okay, so... Oh, actually, did we fix the alternator? We did. Power string pump. Boom, that's fixed. Nice not to have to buy these things. It's weird some of the things you can fix in this game and some that you can't. Like that the arm bracket, like really I couldn't fix that <laughs> at all? What was the thing I could do? Oh, um free. Hey, our new subscriber from Australia. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking the subscribe button. Welcome to Cryptic's Auto Mechanic Nightmares. Okay, I need uh, pistons or I need rings. Probably need rod caps, but see what happens. Oops, I need seven of those. Uh, we will need front springs. Now we are going to need the clutch release bearing. Our shock absorber caps. Uh, I think this one had rears as well, so I should probably get those while we're at it. Okay, let's see how many of these rod caps we fixed. Thanks for answering questions. Anyone need advice on Fords? I've got gotcha. I can't remember the last time I drove a Ford. Well, you're making sure oil ring. Yeah, and we don't need to keep the fluid and the pressure in there. It's fine. I'm trying to fix the engine, not marry it. 
Oh man, I got tons of rod caps. How did I end up with so many? Seriously, did I? How did I end up with so many rod caps? Huh. I must have bought some extra ones last time that I didn't need. Box of Chop Shop, where if you aren't fully satisfied, you didn't get your car fixed here. <laughs> yeah. You must have been somewhere else. I'm taking accountability for that. Spark plugs. Um, oh, I need... Uh, Need the ignition coils too. Oops, my one field over there. There we go. Didn't read that correctly. You missed the extra not after aren't? What? If you aren't not satisfied, oh. <laughs> Good old double negatives. Oh my god, I have a lot of camshafts too. I don't know how many. Oh, that's right, because we fixed the ones from the other DeLorean. And then we bought the performance ones. We have camshafts for days. Those are apparently not fixable. You take your car to Cryptic Fox Auto Care. You wouldn't expect to get it back in better condition, but you'd take it there for the lulls. <laughs> your car must not be worth very much. <laughs> I'd be like, you brought in the car that was on fire, right? <laughs> and be like, uh, no. <laughs> Ooh, I got bad news for you. Ignore the scorch marks. Feel the buff right out. Yeah, everyone who uh, gets a car repaired at my shop gets a bag of spare parts that may or may not have belonged to your vehicle in the first place. You'll have to figure that out on your own after the uh, work is done. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what this is going to sell for when we're done. <laughs> and if I have enough money to finish it. I think, well, all the, all the body parts were repairable, so we'll save a bunch of money there. I guess that's probably where the biggest cost is in this particular car. Be awesome to add some off missions like petrol to electric conversion. Oh, that would be cool. I mean, they have, uh, they have electric vehicles in the game now, so if you had the opportunity to do some of those conversions, that'd be kind of neat. Even fix the fuel rails. Car do I drive? I just have a, a Hyundai Elantra. It's like a 2015 family car. Nothing fancy. One of those cars when I was shopping for it, I was like, uh, what can I get that's going to be good fuel mileage with a decent interior cabin size that's going to accommodate kids' child seats without too much of a pain in the butt? 
<laughs> so that's what I ended up with. <laughs> I actually ended up going to the car show in Toronto and uh, checking out a couple different cars there because it was a great place to like check out multiple multiple cars from different brands all in one place. And then I didn't have to deal with uh, pushy salespeople. Obviously couldn't test drive there, but it sort of helped me narrow down my choice anyway. You have a Hyundai XL drag car and has an Elantra, an Elantra engine in it, really? I mean, I would not say my car has power. <laughs> it's, it's fine for what I need, but uh, I wouldn't try to drag anybody with it. You should build it in game. I don't even know if they have an Elantra in the game. Ah, oh, always with the idler rollers. Really, Fox is pretty well known for dragging people in his car, usually zombies. Yeah, that's a little bit different. Then they're uh, they're dragging along behind my vehicle. It's not so much drag racing as it is just dragging. It's at least slightly different. Only slightly. Uh, did I put spark plugs on both sides this time? I did. So we got that. Okay. This engine doesn't look as fancy as the last one, but if it's only going to have like 120 horsepower anyway... <laughs> Not really gonna be doing anything fantastical with it. Uh, I forgot to weld, so let's get that done. Oh, I didn't separate the wheels yet either, did I? Oh, this thing only had two wheels on it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need some more wheels. <laughs> Seen you know, a Hyundai last night in someone's video that looked like a Hyundai Timberon. Oh, really? Let's look and see what they have. Since I forgot to repair the uh, the rims, I should do that. Okay, engine back in. Get that out of here. Hey, Fox, what's the plan for tomorrow night? Uh, I have, uh, I got access to the, um, the Icarus beta that's this weekend. Um, so that's running on Friday and Saturday this weekend. Uh, I'm definitely going to be playing it tomorrow night, and then depending on how that goes, I may end up playing it on Sunday as well. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put back in here. Well, battery we didn't get yet. Hair filter for 11 credits. It's an expensive one. Need a whole lot of clip A's. What other car mods are there? Uh, there's a bunch of them now. They've kind of been gradually uh, starting to show up there. Um, I know there's some some uh, some livery options. There's uh, the Mitsubishi Lancer is another one that we've gotten. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to go and look. 
I don't know off the top of my head. Um, all right, let's get the uh, reservoirs and the brake servo before I forget them. Get our radiator here for this. Oops. I have it there. I think I just bought two of them by accident. <laughs> yep, sure did. Must be a Canadian car. Lots of clip bays. Take off, E, you hooser. Uh, that's good. Oh, I should get the, uh, as long as we're already in here, I should probably do the fuses. Clear all this out. Relays and fuses and things. Surely if the car was Canadian, it would be apologizing for needing to be repaired. Probably. Probably. So sorry. Yeah, mods now. Yeah, there's a few mods. Yeah. Uh, let me finish putting in the fuses here. We'll take a quick look and see what's there. I know there's a few cars. I think somebody had added in a diesel engine car because they have the uh, the engine in the game, but not any cars that actually have it. I guess they were just like, like setting it up for future utilization. So somebody modded in the car that uses it. Um, obviously the DeLorean, since that's what we're working on right now. Mr. BC Lancer is in there. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, can I just back up? Yeah. Okay, so uh, Mitsubishi Lancer. There's the uh, Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, Ferrari 458, uh, 1997 Land Rover, BMW M3, the DeLorean we're working on right now. Uh, these are all the most populars. There's 115 total mods, but that's going to include things like livery, um, someone else, someone else did a Scooby-Doo van, but that livery, I think they did a little more detail too. They might have some stuff on the inside of that one. Canadian license plates, Bolt Supernova, the Flamo Drag. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh my God. A Pinto with an engine that is far too big for it. <laughs> Should get that just on principle. If we could make the car blow up, that would totally be worth having. Nissan 240Z Resto mod. Like some of these, I don't, they're not rated, so I don't know how good they are, but uh, Siebel BR seems to have a couple in here. So yeah, there are uh, there are a number of mods. I got like four pages of them, but um, you have to like go and flip through them all, I guess, and see what you're looking for. There's some mods on Nexus. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Oh, I should, uh, before I forget. Go ahead and tackle the fluids here. Always hated the Pinto. We uh, so when I was a kid, my mom had a Pinto, and we uh, we were living in Edmonton, and we drove back to Ontario in a Pinto. Feel lucky to be alive. <laughs> I mean, there weren't that many of them that blew up, but it was uh, not exactly uh, the ultimate and safe vehicle, anyway. Fast well, I'm not complaining. Just yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna finish the car out before we're done the stream. We started late today too, like a half hour late. Uh, that's done. Oh, bunch of washer. Talking about a pinto horse, not the cor yes. We rode a horse all the way. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, fluids are done. Um, let's actually, we'll get the body restored on this thing. What do we have of it anyway? Oh. I don't even know what windows to put in this thing. I guess it, I guess that's it. The actual glass one. Is that the one that goes on there? For the gold? I still don't remember. I can't recall what we pulled off of there. We got some new plates. Those ones are, those ones are a little run down. Oh! <laughs> That's the wrong hood. <laughs> I know you're surprised. There we go. Oh, I guess I didn't have the hood. That's weird. It's weird that that's a different color. It's not really gold. Okay, so the glass we are definitely gonna need. We'll need a hood. Uh, uh, some cover. So all that's fine. I guess we just need the glass. It's more metallic yellow. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it didn't really look all that goldish, but <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, okay, so. Community parts. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need the door windows. I'm sure we already got. Where's my windshield? There it is. It looks mustard yellow. Yeah, it's not uh, not the right, right, the right color. I think it's because the the body panels are metal. And this was plastic on the front or something maybe. Oh, the hood. <laughs> That's kind of important. Oh, good thing. Got the headlights in here. Okay. Lift her up. Oh, I didn't do the, uh, I didn't take the interior stuff out of this, did I? He's gotta go. When I was ripping everything apart earlier, I didn't, uh, didn't actually take those out. Of course I didn't add them. Why would I add them? Fox, look at this car. Hinata Moon MK1 on this game. Is it a... Sorry, is that a mod or is it... Um, is it just one of the normal cars in the game? I can't really like look them up so much while I'm in the game. I'd have to like click out and search around and stuff. If we go out to the menu, we could look at the cars in the, uh, the showroom, but I'm not inclined to do that at the moment. Oh, I need bushings. Um, okay. Could take a whole lot. A lot of bushing. The normal car. 
Yeah, I'd have to go uh, either look it up online or... Uh, excuse me, go into the showroom in the early part of the game to check it out. Um, I can't really do that while I'm playing. Is it just an eclipse? Is that what it is? Oh, that's not what I wanted there. You even got the game yet? Oh, okay. Fun game, if you like this kind of stuff anyway. I'm sure this won't appeal to everybody, but... I enjoy it. It's kind of relaxing. Oh, I've only got three cylinders. I'm going to buy a cylinder, too. Okay, double wishbone shock comes over rears. We need those. Uh, oop. I think I got the rest of the parts for it already. Let's find out. Acquiring minds want to know. I did. Saturday here now on Monday. You're buying it for console. Oh, nice. Fun. Good game. I enjoy games that have a like uh, a. Like a, a high degree of challenge to them, like uh, when I'm playing State of Decay on Lethal Zone or like Dark Souls, Mortal Shell, that kind of stuff. I enjoy games like that, but I also really like sometimes just chilling out with a game like this. There's something oddly, uh, oddly entertaining about simulation games. I don't know why. Buying on console, smash the beer bottle, them five words, PC gamers. <laughs> I've heard the interface on console for this is actually pretty good. In terms of like the UI. I've never tried it myself, but. Actually, I think I already had a fuel pump because we kind of bought one last time we didn't use. A series X at the moment. I mean, that's a pretty strong console, at least. I bought the Series X as well, but I've uh, <laughs> been doing more PC gaming than anything else lately. To a degree, I kind of wasted my money on it. Planning on building a PC soonish. Nice. Hopefully parts accessibility will improve. GPUs in particular. So I need um, I need two calipers and I need at least one of the cylinders. I think I had three of them in total. They were already repaired.
very impressed with the Series X. Yeah, I mean, it, it works well. I just, um, I haven't gotten enough usage out of it, I don't think, relative to what I paid for it. Again, just because I've been playing with, uh, been playing on PC so much lately. Okay, uh, I don't remember if I bought the front springs and caps and all that stuff, but I guess we're gonna find out in a second. Yeah, I didn't even buy, I didn't buy the wishbones. There we go. I did, perfect. Starting the PC Master Race out of No, not at all. Just, uh, the. Uh, there's a lot more indie games to be played on PC than there are on uh, console. Not that there aren't any on console, but they tend to come out first on PC. I don't play. Uh, I don't play too many AAA titles. <laughs> How much did you spend on your pre-built PC? You said you ordered for Newegg. I spent a lot, probably more than I should have, but. Um... I was at that point where I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pull the trigger on it because I, I hummed and hawed over it for almost a year. So, it was a lot. <laughs> I mean, fortunately, I could, I could use like a portion of it as a tax write-off, but... Still a good chunk of change outlay. Less than 6k, more than 1k. <laughs> I mean, if that's the ranges you want to go with. <laughs> Higher barriers to code for a specific console versus PC. That's true, too, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just a it's a very different style of coding too, I gather. And uh, and then there's hurdles they have to jump through when it comes to like publishing updates and everything. I can see how as a developer it would be a real pain to work with console. But... Uh, right, mufflers. Okay, we're good. What size rims are these up here? I want to see if there's a difference in the rim size between the front and the back again. No, it says they're both 14s. Different sizing might have just been on that time machine DeLorean. Okay, I need uh, I need two rims. And then, in terms of the actual tires, what do we got here tire-wise? Oh god, I got too many tires. <laughs> uh, these are the ones we took off of the uh, the other DeLorean. So I'm just gonna get four of these. Um, so 195 60R14. Done. I got the wrong size rim. Did I? Seems like something I'd do. I did. I got 12s. God dang it. Thank you. Blast. Uh. Oh, I just. That's what it was. I didn't change it from the default. <laughs> it's fine, we got it. 14 inch rim, that's the front. But I had a I had one front tire and one back tire on this thing when I pulled it off. I think they were both they were all 14s. It's not gonna matter. This thing has like 130 horsepower.
Done and done. Actual car, 103 horsepower mod, might have more. Uh, the guy that, w that did the mod was actually in here um, talking about it. Um, so for the, the DeLorean Time Machine one, it had more horsepower, but he said uh, he just used like the stock horsepower for this one. So I guess we'll see what it looks like. But he said it definitely did not have much power. He even, he even said it wasn't worth putting the performance parts in it for this particular build. <laughs> uh, oh, I did put a tie rod on here. I think that might be important. We don't need our stinking tires to stay straight. Tires are small. They do look small. Uh, oh, I haven't even put a gearbox in this thing either. That's probably another important thing we should do. <laughs> they don't need no stinking gearbox. Thought I was done. Meanwhile. No fixing the clutch pressure plate. Nope, oh, I didn't put that on my list. I think the, uh, the clutch release bearing I already bought. Find out in a second. I haven't got a starter on this thing either. It's not going to do a whole lot of running without a starter. What do you mean you need a starter to start a car? What kind of craziness is this? Okay. I think it's mostly here. <laughs> We'll find out in a second when I'm missing. We got most of it though. Body 92%. I don't have the plates on yet. Uh, what what uh, what state or country should we use for the plates on this one? We're not going to do uh, custom plates this time around because we're just going to sell this car. <laughs> Through your sorry, Greg. <laughs> that's that's the worst. Well, it said it's 130 for the gold one. The carbon one, you can get up to 500. Yeah. Texas it is. Wow, two people for Texas. All right. Texas. Texas truck, even though it's not a truck. That's the wrong one. There we go. Now what does it say? 100%. Play mode. Okay, wow, that's a fairly significant step up. It costs us a lot though, 86,000 is a lot for a junker. Uh, selling it for 153,588, that gives us a promise of 67,286, which isn't bad. Uh, let's send this off to get our alignment sorted out. We'll take it for a little spin. <laughs> I wanna see how much power this car doesn't have. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother with the headlights this time. They don't affect anything anyway. Uh, don't need to paint it. We're off to the dyno. The plate helps the speed also, yeah. I'm sure it does. 135 horsepower factory. We didn't do any, so it's still gonna be in here to actually take it to a track. Ooh, I can. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna adjust the audio here because the car noises are so loud. My car is to the barn and get heaps of profit. Yeah, you can certainly get a lot of money from, um, from some of the finds. Like a junkyard or barns, it's, you know, you can make a really good profit on them regardless. Just depends on the car, really. 
Oh yeah, look at that acceleration. Woo, we're doing 50 miles an hour. Oh, kilometers, kilometers an hour. I can barely hold it. <laughs> Touched the edge of the dirt, we lost like 10 kilometers an hour. <laughs> this car is all power, man. We should make a supercharged Prius. Oh yeah, this this car is all muscle. <laughs> oh, it's so weak. So we got 163. Can we get past 163? All right, we topped it at 166. Obviously, an all power machine right here. <laughs> Can it not be painted? Just curious. So this is a, I think it's got a livery effectively applied to it, so painting it might not affect it. Downhill with a tailwind. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not exactly a high performance vehicle, that is for sure. Let's, um, I'll send it to the paint shop and see if he gives us the option to paint it. I'm not sure though. I, I think if the mod has it applied, it's effectively a livery that it's using. Oh, yeah. See, the only thing that's being affected is this front piece. What if we chrome that thing out? Oh, the chrome matches better. <laughs> the yellow is ugly as heck, yeah. So the the chrome's still not right, but it's uh It's better anyway, whatever. All right, so this modded car, we're going to make uh, 67000 in profit on. Obviously, it'll be a little bit less than that because we did have to buy some parts, but not really a lot since we made it pretty much all stock. A little more money back in our pocket. We're back up over 300000 again, which gives us seed money to work on uh, the next car and so on and so forth. Um, it is pretty late right now. My time, it's, uh, it's like 20 to 1 in the morning. I'm going to call it a wrap for tonight, but uh, thanks everyone for coming to hang out. Uh, appreciate the super chats this evening. Uh, tomorrow night I'm going to be playing uh, the beta for a new game called uh, Icarus. It's a survival game. Uh, and then depending on how that goes tomorrow night, I may play it on Sunday. Otherwise, I'll uh, change it up and do something different on Sunday. But uh, thanks so much, everyone, for coming to hang out. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.